Ruski Ed here, and today we talk about some of the shortest words in Russian. It's time to learn a little Russian to cram words in your head. It's time for Ruski Ed. There are several one and two letter words in Russian, and many of them are prepositions. Prepositions are words like on, in, by, near, and under. Today we're going to learn a few Russian prepositions. You should be forewarned that many of these prepositions in Russian don't map precisely to prepositions in English. And so the meanings listed in this lesson might be a little fuzzy. It will take experience to sort them out so that you can use them correctly. But for now, the meanings given in this lesson will be close enough. We will go over five one-letter prepositions. And those prepositions are ka, which means to, toward, or by, f, which means into, into, or for, u, which means by, at, near, or from, sa, which means with, but may also be used with greetings, and o, which means about, on, of, or for. I know that was a lot to throw at you all at once, and so I will slow down a little bit and give you a couple little examples of how some of these one-letter prepositions are used. In the case of u, we have a phrase which means to stand at, by, or near the window. And that phrase is stoyat u akna. And for sa, we have a phrase which means to read with difficulty. And that phrase is shetats setrudam. And for o, we have a phrase which means a cry for help. And that phrase is krik o pamashi. And now coming straight at you are six two-letter prepositions in Russian. First of all, we have po, which means through, along, or over. Za, which means behind, out, or beyond. Is, which means from. Na, which means on, to, or for. Do, which means to, up to, as far as, until, or before. And at, which means from. Again, that was a lot to throw at you all at once, and so a couple quick examples may help to sort things out just a little bit. First of all, we have a phrase which means from July through September. It goes like this. Sa iulia po sentyabr. Another phrase which may help out a little bit is a phrase which means a letter from home. And that phrase is pismo is doma. As you might expect, our phrases today incorporate some of the prepositions which we learned earlier in the lesson. Our first phrase means to count from 1 to 10. Shetats at anova do desyati. And our next phrase means the sun went behind the clouds. Goes like this. Sonsa zashlo za tuchi. And this has been Ruski Ed. We've reached the end of this first lesson on prepositions. And so it is time to sign off. Das Vidanya. And now you should have a few more Russian words crammed in your head. Ikada eta pisya zekanchina. That's all from Ruski Ed.